Hii ni kashinda online mimi naitwa Eugene Peter. Karibu sana. Na mkwawama wa Iraq wamepiga kambi ya kijeshi ya Marekani huko Syria. Uh, Nililipoti uh, siku kadhaa zilizopita kuhusiana na mzozo baina ya Israel pamoja na Hamas na nikakwambia kwamba Israel walifika mbali kutokana na kile ambacho walikifanya Lebanon uh, kufanya mauaji ya kiongozi wa kundi la Hamas katika nchi nyingine nje ya Palestina. Kinachoendelea ni kwamba Israel ambao walipewa eneo la 48 uh, ambalo Tel Aviv inatambulika na umoja wa mataifa wanatamani kuchukua eneo la Gaza ambalo ni eneo la tatu la Palestina uh, kutoka katika lile eneo la pili ambalo tayari linatawaliwa na harakati ya ukombozi wa Palestina pia lo ambayo wa Palestina wengi hawaiamini wakidhani ya kwamba uh, tayari pia lo ipo chini ya Israel na kinachoendelea ni ndumi la kwili kama ana, ana, anangata na kupuliza pia lo hivi kwa hiyo West Bank ni kama yaminiki hivi kinachoendelea sasa hivi Israel wanatamani kuchukua maeneo yote matatu ndani ya Palestina yani Tel Aviv West Bank pamoja na ukanda wa Gaza. Lakini changamoto imekuwa ni kuhusiana na ukanda wa Gaza na mpaka sasa hivi vita vinaendelea. Kwa hiyo tumeona kuna baadhi ya mashambulizi ambayo yanaendelea sasa katika maeneo kadha wa kadha. Na kama nilivyokuambia ni kwamba mkwawama wa Iraq wamepiga kambi ya kijeshi ya Marekani huko Syria na hizi ni ripoti ambazo zimetolewa na television ya Ali Mayaden imetangaza kuwa wana mkwawama wa Iraq wameshambulia kambi ya kijeshi ya Marekani ya eneo la Syria kwa kutumia ndege zisizo na rubani. Na kiufupi hawa ndugu zetu ambao wanaitwa uh, mkwawama wa Iraq wanaitambua Marekani kuwa muhusika mkuu wa mashambulizi ya utawala wa Israel katika ukanda wa Gaza na wanaeleza ya kwamba wataendeleza mashambulizi uh, mashambulizi dhidi uh, ya Marekani hadi hapo ambapo hujuma za kikatili ambazo zinaendelea katika ukanda wa Gaza zitakaposimama. Nimeona kuna baadhi ya nchi zimetoa matamko uh, kuhusiana na Afrika Kusini kuifungulia Israel mashtaka katika mahakama ya haki uh, ya kimataifa ICJ na uh, Cuba imeunga mkono kesi ambayo ilifunguliwa na Afrika Kusini dhidi ya utawala wa Israel. Na kupitia Bruno Rodriguez uh, waziri wa mambo ya nje wa Cuba amesema ya kwamba Havana inaunga mkono mashtaka yaliyofunguliwa na Afrika Kusini katika mahakama ya kimataifa ya haki ICJ kuhusiana na mauaji ya kimbari yanayofanywa na utawala wa Israel katika watu wa Gaza. Na Uh, uh, katika hili ni kwamba kuna nchi kadhaa ambazo zimeunga mkono pia hili uh, kama Jamhuri ya, uh, ya Kiislamu ya Iran, uh, Russia, Malaysia, Bangladesh pamoja na Uturuki uh, pamoja na wasomi mia mbili mashuhuri na wanaharakati wa haki za kibinadamu uh, nchini Marekani wameunga mkono mashtaka Afrika Kusini dhidi ya Israel. Mashtaka haya watu wengi wanayabeza wakisema ya kwamba ah Uh, ndio hivi wamefungua tu lakini hawana lolote ambalo wana uwezo wa kuwafanya Israel kwa sababu wapo chini ya support ya Marekani uh, na NATO watu wa magharibi wanawalinda Israel uh, katika hichi ambacho wanaendelea kukifanya lakini huenda ikawa ni tofauti mwanadada na Lay by Nation amekuwa kiripoti ripoti kutoka ukanda wa Gaza na vita kati ya Israel pamoja na Hamas anatuelezea hapa kiundani zaidi kufahamu kuhusiana na kesi hii ambayo Afrika Kusini wameifungua kule katika mahakama ya haki uh, ya kimataifa ICJ. So a lot of people are confused as to why South Africa has decided to take Israel to the ICJ, the International Criminal Justice Court. If the ICJ doesn't have the power to actually enforce any of its rulings. So what is the point of South Africa even taking Israel to court? Um I think people are missing the bigger picture of all of this which to me is South Africa is essentially dethroning America uh as a world leader. Uh I think the world is seeing that America is not fit to be a world leader because not only is America supporting Israel in committing and carrying out this genocide of Palestinians, America is uh complicit in this genocide. It is a partner in this genocide of Palestinians and the world has come to see this. The United States of America vetoed a UN resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, which was unanimously backed by almost all of the Security Council members, including dozens of other nations. America used its power to veto this resolution. I think that 
people have always known that the UN was controlled by the US and have always known that Israel controlled the US. And now it's starting to look more and more like a fact versus a conspiracy. Um, and with this trial, with this case, uh, the world is coming to know the truth. The world is coming to know that America ultimately has committed genocide on Palestinians and they're using their power as a world leader to continue this genocide. The global south will slowly begin to turn on America and this is just phase one. South Africa taking Israel to the ICJ is significant. It is symbolic and it is the beginning of a turn, a, a turn in history. Um, they are essentially dethroning America and that's what we are watching. We are watching America commit genocide and use their power as a world leader to carry out this genocide. And now we know who the puppet master has been all along. We realize that it's the small ass country that has been controlling America.